All right, guys. So, in honor of the dogs going back to back national champions, we have been told that my very gracious mother would buy a bottle of Dom Perignon. And here it is. So we're going to crack it open and have some. <laughs> and then we're going to give you a rowdy go dogs. What is going on guys? It is another edition of Yeehaw or Hell Nah. And this one's gonna be a little bit different, so did want to put a disclaimer. Uh, we are gonna be talking about a specific kind of alcohol today. So one, drink responsibly, no underage drinking, and uh, any things of those, always adhere to the applicable laws uh, in your spot, wherever you may be. Um, and then if you do uh, drink, please drink responsibly. So with that being said, on this Yeehaw or Hell Nah, uh, we are going to look at Dom Perignon. It is a champagne, a authentic champagne. Interestingly enough, a lot of the champagne that we get here in the States is going to be a sparkling wine. Because to be titled champagne, it needs to come out of that region in France. So uh, Dom Perignon is, is kind of been like that benchmark for years. I've heard about it and everything. And as everybody knows or has watched the videos or kept up with it, my Bulldogs brought home back-to-back -back national championships. And I had a bet that if they did that, uh, the, the person that I bet with was going to buy a bottle of Dom and we would split it. And that is what we did. We uh, uh, had dinner and they ended up bringing the Dom. It was, ah, it's, you know, it's 250 plus. Um, for the Brute, we did the Brute, not the Rosé. The Rosé looked about 500. And um, so, you know, we had a good dinner when we got home from L.A. after the dogs won. And we cracked this open. We had a, a spectacular Chateaubriand roast. And uh, it was awesome. Celebrated the dogs win. Uh, and we all tried the champagne. And uh, we're all going to... Gonna, gonna say that it was a hell no. What? I have tried a, a bunch of sparkling wines. They've mostly been brutes. I'm a fan of mimosas. But this stuff was extremely dry and was absolutely not worth it. In my opinion, there, there's, I'm sure there's going to be somebody that's going to staunchly defend Dom Perignon as being the greatest. It's everything. It is a status thing it is something uh, of those natures it is not because trust me i love food I'm, I'm a pretty good cook and i understand you know simple very good ingredients do i think that getting actual parmigiano reggiano cheese is better than the parmesan in the green can all day spend that money get that ingredient it's delicious is this Dom Perignon so much better than the, the $20 bottle that I find at a local grocery store? No, it's not. Not to me. Maybe my taste buds are not as evolved. It is absolutely a status to have, and it is all in the label. Uh, I was not a huge fan, so for this one, we've got another Hell No. Hell No. And everybody, do yourself a favor. Not worth it. Go go get that twenty twenty five dollar bottle, because the the two hundred and fifty plus bottle is gonna taste about the same. And honestly, I wanted to mix it with a little bit of orange juice. So, uh, guys, again, I'm just so excited about the national championship back to back. It has been one heck of a college football season. So that was a great time to celebrate. Dinner was awesome, and I was surrounded by uh, friends and that was absolutely worth it. But as it goes for Dom per Perignon, or as uh, they say, I don't remember the movie, but Don Perignon, don't say that, it's Dom Perignon, but as for that stuff, uh, guys, totally not worth it, not to me, uh, and I would say just go with something better, go with something that you like, go with what you know that you're gonna enjoy, especially if you're gonna spend that kind of money. So, um, guys, that is gonna be another Yeehaw or hell no, nah. we've got a hell no nah again, 
and um, got Fam Jam, you know, I'm out. Vintage 2012. <clears throat> Fancy. I wish you wouldn't point it toward the... <laughs> or me. You should try, okay? Ah! Sorry. Do what? <laughs> you should try, you should try. <laughs> we definitely should not be aiming it in Wendy the waitress's face, <laughs> is what he should have said. <sighs> All right. Dom, parent, everything in here is Georgia. Yeah, said the Browns, but it's still Nick from Georgia. There, there was the pop. Almost fell in my hand. That would The bottle? No, the cork, because that would have been <laughs> terrible. Yes, the bottle. <coughs> <laughs> <coughs> All right, folks, here we go. Will you do just your hand? That's all we're getting. Mmm, smells like alcohol. Yeah. <coughs> go dogs! Go dogs! Go dogs! Go dogs. Yep, tastes like champagne. I was right beside him. <laughs> <laughs> we are uncultured swine here. <laughs> I'm more of a sub. Wow. You're getting into some deep dive there. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> tastes like champagne. Yeah. So, there you go. <laughs> she spent, <laughs> <laughs> spent $300 to look like that.